Hey folks, future Heather popping in here just to give a quick intro to this video. So it was getting to be a really long video, so I decided to split this one in two. Uh, so you'll get two, two midweek videos this week. <laughs> so uh, I think this one will come out on Thursday or Friday. And then you'll also get the other video on Saturday. So three videos this week. And I hope you enjoy. Um, my sister and I went to Bath and Body Works to smell all the candles and get some fall candles. And then I also started on the felt ornaments, and that should be quite amusing for you. <laughs> Hopefully, several of you can relate to the fact that, you know, you, you buy all the, you have all the big dreams, you buy all the supplies, and then you're really not sure if you want to do the project. <laughs> so, that's where we're at with that, and uh, stay tuned to see what I do about the felt ornaments in the future. I'm still trying to work that all out. But, you know, it's always hardest the first time you do something, and it may not be the prettiest, but if you persevere, most of the time, you get a product you can be proud of. So, I hope you can all relate, um, and let's get started. my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's small talk with people that pass me by I share a laugh it gives me joy that everyone's having a good good time I hear the jingle bells people singing about love it feels like I'm a kid like I'm forever young and that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way and to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. No, it's the time of year, winter wonderland. My winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate. So I wanted to share with you what we got at Bath and Body Works. So I really went there for fall. So I got sweater weather, I don't know if you can see that. Sweater weather, which is one that I had last year that I really liked. Mmm, it's got kind of, let's see if I can read it, it's really teeny. So it's got fresh sage, juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, fresh woods, 
and natural essential oils. So very woodsy, um, not really a lot of uh, spice, which is what I tend to go for for um, fall. And then I got the pumpkin spice latte, which smells amazing. Mmm. I normally don't go for like the desserty ones, but this one's really good. So this one has pumpkin spice, fresh espresso, whipped cream. So that's the smell of this one. And I haven't had that one before, but it smells amazing. And then here's one that I had last year. Um, I normally don't get the the three wick candles because they're so much more expensive, but they had a $10 off, which made this $16.50, and the single wick candles are $15.50. So it was a no-brainer to get the three wick version. Um, they only had the one wick version in these two, so that's why I got those two. Uh, so this one is leaves, and isn't that super cute? I think they're bears in the woods playing with pumpkins. That's super cute. Ah, smells so good. So this one has crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. Uh, so that's very cool. And then I also got the frosted cranberry, which is a lot more Christmassy than fall with the cranberry, obviously. So this has iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, tonka bean. So that's interesting. Yeah, I burned this one first and it's definitely more Christmassy, but it's just a very fresh cranberry scent. So that's nice. So I'm gonna enjoy these. What I usually do is after, after the candle burns to the point, um, I really like these because they're made with essential oils and they just seem to last longer. The fragrance feels less cloying and clingy. Um, but the wick, for some reason, doesn't last as long. So it'll get down to like here and you'll still have this much candle wax left without a wick. So what I do then is I take them into work because I have a, a wax melter candle warmer thing at work, and we're not allowed to burn candles at work with the flame, but with the wax melter, um, it just melts this little bit, and then I have a nice scent for my office. So it works out that I can, I can use it all for later. What's the one I have right now? So the one I have from last year that's still left is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. For some reason, I just go for the ones with all the spices in them. So this has warm cinnamon, fresh gunk, ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. It smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. So that's what we got at Bath and Body Works. So I'm all excited to burn this. I think I will burn leaves tonight. It's, um, it's actually raining here in Southern California out of nowhere. I really hope it doesn't rain on Saturday for the craft fair. I mean, I have a canopy, but um, yeah, rain would definitely lessen the turnout. So I'm really hoping it doesn't rain on Saturday and that it's getting it out of its system now. But I love it when it rains and we need the rain. So I'm happy to have it tonight. Okay, catch you guys later. Okay, so last project for this week is getting these, um, getting some felt cut out because I haven't started that yet. <laughs> um, but we got our order from Vista Prints. So I got my cards. So on one side, it's got all the ways to connect with me and a QR code for the YouTube channel. And on the other side, thank you for supporting my handmade business. And then all the icons of all the social media stuff. Um, so that's great. Glad to see those. And they turned out very nice. Unfortunately, the vinyl sign banner that I ordered, I didn't think about how long that was going to be. So it hangs down too far for me to attach it to the top of the... Um, 
to the top of the booth, which means people would have to duck under to, to get into the booth. So not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, I could put it on the table, but then obviously it's covered up by anybody uh, standing in front of the table. So that will be interesting. Okay. So we're going to get these out. I'm very nervous. I'm always nervous the first time I do something. And then after I do one or two of them, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> so I am going to try and find the easiest one out of this bunch to do. I'm not sure there is an easy one. Maybe the candy cane. Candy cane's only two pieces. That might work. Okay, I've regrouped, watched a video. I mean, these two aren't even the same size, let alone I can see all the marks, even when I'm using the reverse side, because you're going to see them here. So I'm supposed to cut inside the line, and then I just tried doing this one. Uh, I saw somebody just holding it up and cutting it, but that looks like crap too, so I don't think that's going to work either unless I can clean it up 
I'm thinking for the two pieces that have to be matching exactly, I probably have to cut those two out at the same exact time. Oh, see, that's just going to be impossible to hold that. I have to trace it. But there's got to be a better way to trace this out than that because, I mean, what I'm doing with the pen looks like crap. So there has to be a different way to do this. I do have this guy. It's just trying to trace anything on this felt is just very, very frustrating because it just gets pulled. Maybe I am better off with like a Sharpie or something. I can try a Sharpie. And then I'm supposed to cut inside the line so that the line isn't there at the end, which makes a lot of sense. She said marker, but she didn't specify. See, the Sharpie just gets caught on this. I can use like a real marker Sharpie, but I'm really gonna have to cut around that. Okay, that's a lot better, but it's such a thick line. It just doesn't seem like this is gonna be very accurate here. But if I'm cutting inside the line, maybe that'll work, who knows. Just keeping it real with y'all. And then I was thinking the smaller scissors would be better than the fabric scissors, but who knows. They seem to get caught and like not make a nice clean edge. definitely more visible with the Sharpie. I'm just not good at cutting little things out. You think I would think about this before I bought all the supplies. You think I would try and make one. Just buy one piece of felt and try making one before I do all of this. You know, my other option last Christmas was to just buy one of those little cases that had all the little drawers that are numbered that you put like little pieces of candy in. That would have been a lot easier than this. I could have even painted the drawers. I just couldn't find one that had a good review. All of them basically said that they were cheaply made, so I didn't get one of those. Well, that's a little bit better. I just can't seem to get these rounded edges very well. When I was cutting out the pattern pieces, I was having the same problem. They don't mean a thing to this here with me. If you know where it is, please give him a ride. And I will wait here by the candlelight. Cause his love, love is all I need. And my
next step is to do the embroidery with the white to turn it into a candy cane. Ouch, that hurt. I like totally stabbed myself. Okay, I think we are going to leave it here. Um, this is going to be a Wednesday vlog, I believe. So I hope you're having a good week and thank you for joining me. Um, I love it when you spend time with me. I really appreciate all of all of you just taking the time to spend some time with me in the studio. And hopefully uh, you're working on something similar or, you know, getting some crocheting or knitting done while, while watching me. So hopefully it's inspiring you to work on some projects. And I think that's it. I think the next one you see, I will be on my Saturday craft fair. So very exciting. And I'll be able to give you an update on how that went. And yeah. So thank you for being you. And I really appreciate you spending time with me today. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you next time. Bye folks. Love you.